Hey everybody, Unfair here. This quick video goes out to all my fellow EVE players who play EVE Online on a Mac. I'm sure you've all experienced at some point those hard freezes that uh, the Mac client is so well known for. Uh, you know, that every 15 to 20 minutes the game will just completely go unresponsive. There's a reason for that, and I'm going to show you real quick how to resolve it. Uh, your mileage may vary, but it has worked for me and a friend of mine who have... He's been on an iMac, I've been on a, a MacBook Pro. We've not had a single problem since I've done this. So, real quick, all you have to do is go into your Applications folder, okay? And right-click on your EVE Online Launcher. Now, this is your launcher, not the actual client. This is why it's very important. You may have heard of something called AppNap before. Uh, if you're on the more modern version of OS X, it's a feature that tries to save you power and battery and all that, and really all it does is screw up your gaming. So, what you want to do is right-click on that and click Show Package Contents. Uh, once you've done that, you'll head into Contents, and then Resources, and what you'll see here is just a whole bunch of junk you do not want to mess with, but right here is your actual EVE online client. So if you go here, and you go to Get Info, okay, when this one pops up, you'll notice it's 14 point whatever gigs in size. It's actually been different between different systems we've tested this on, which is really awkward. Anyhow, once you get in here, you'll notice these three checkboxes. The one that you're going to want to check is Prevent App Nap. Once you've done that, all you have to do is close this. If your EVE client was running, be sure to close it completely and reopen it. Once you reopen it, you should not have a problem. What happens is, and a quick explanation as to why, AppNap is something that's designed to save power on your system uh, when whatever program you're using is not in focus. So if you tab out of EVE or go on to do something else, check your emails, uh, anything else on your system, EVE becomes a background application according to OS X, which then it tries to save and conserve power and downthrottle your processor, all those good lovely power saving and heat saving features, which then crashes the game client because it doesn't know what to do with that. So by checking that, now it's very important, you do not want to do that on the icon which is in your applications, you'll want to go to show package contents, you'll want to go to contents, resources, and you'll want to do it to this exact file here. So when you go to get info, you'll see it. It'll be about 14 and a half gigs in size. This is the one you'll want to grab and the one you want to take care of. Once you've done that, then you'll be in good shape. Uh, you shouldn't have any more problems. We haven't. We've tested it for a good couple of days with no issues. I've been running multiple accounts on the system uh, with no crashes during the day, whereas before I would have nothing but problems. I'd have no stability to the point where I had to boot into Windows to actually play the game. So this should fix it for you. If it doesn't, again, your mileage may vary. It could vary on your system, your software versions, etc., etc. But this has worked for us, and I hope it works for you. Uh, that's it. So I hope this helps you guys who are having problems on the Mac client. So thanks for watching, everybody. And let me know in the comments if this did actually help you. And be sure to share it with everybody else you know that's trying to play EVE Online on a Mac.